Hello, good day everyone. Welcome to our maths class. Today's topic, time. Now for our learning objective, write the time shown on each clock. Pause the video and write your answers. Time is up. Now let's reveal the answers. Clock 1. It's 25 past 10 or 10 20. Clock number 2. 25 to 4 or 335. And clock number 3. Quarter past 12 or 1215. Did you get the correct answers? Good job. If not, stay tuned and listen carefully. Learning objective to tell and write the time in five minutes intervals. Success criteria. I can tell and write the o'clock time. I can tell and write the half past, quarter past, and quarter to time. I can tell and write the time to the nearest five minutes. I can solve problems involving time. Telling the time past the hour. This is the past side of the clock. The other side is the two hour. Now, let's focus first on the past, the hour. Starting at 12, we count clockwise round the clock. So, each of the number represents 5 minutes interval. So, you may use, for instance, your 5 times table. So, 1 is 5, 5 past, 10 past, 15 minutes past. Remember, if it's 15 minutes, that's already the first quarter. So, we have quarter past. 20 past, 25 past, and 30 past or half past. This is the half of the hour or of the clock. So when it reached to 6, that is 30 minutes past or half past. Telling the time in word should follow the same pattern. For instance, we have here minutes and hour. So when you tell the time, in words, you have to say first the minute that have passed and the hour. So for this time, we have five past five. So it's five minutes past five o'clock. Or in digital, we say it five zero five. We say no hour first before the minute. Can you identify the time? What time is it now? Okay, so it's 10 past 9. 10 past 9. Or 9, 10. What time is it? We have now 15 minutes past or quarter past 11. Or 11, 15. What time is it? We have 20 past 2. 20 past 2 or 2.20. What time is it? It's now 25 past 12. 25 past 12 or 12.25. What time is it? It's 30 minutes past 9 or half past 9. Also, we call it as 9.30. Now, let's answer activity 1. Write the time on each clock. You have 3 minutes to do this. Pause the video and do the activity. Time is up. Now, let's reveal the answers. For the first clock, we have quarter past 4 or 4.15. Second clock, 25 past 8, or 8.25. And for the third clock, we have 20 past 1, or 1.20. Now, let's have telling the time to the hour. Starting at 12, we count anti-clockwise, or backward, round the clock to tell us the minutes to the hour. Again, the same pattern. Each number is 5 minutes interval, or you count it by 5 times table. 
5, 10, 15. This time, we don't say past. We say it to or to the hour. That means we have to say the next hour on the clock. Take a look at this example. It's 5 to 6. 5 to 6. So it's already 2, 5 minutes to 6 o'clock. Okay? 5 to 6. Or 5 minutes to 6. Or 5.55. Now what time is it? 5, 10, 2. Next hour is 8. So it's 10 to 8 or 7.50. What time is it? It's quarter to next hour, two. So quarter to two or 1.45. What time is it? It's 22. The next hour is 12. So 20 to 12 or 11.40. What time is it? It's 25 to 3. 25 to 3 because that's the next hour. Or 2.35. Now, write the time on each clock. Pause the video and write your answers. Time is up. Clock 1, we got 25 to 12. Or 11.35. Second clock, we got 5 to 7 or 6.55. And finally, we have okay, 5, 10, 15, 20 to 6 or 5.40. Now, I'm going to leave you with this activity. Match the clock to the time on each of the clock. Pause the video and do the activity. All right. For the first clock, we have five past seven. Five past seven. In here, we have here on the two sides, so we have twenty to twelve. Now, we are here on the past side, so we have 5, 10, 15, or quarter, past 4. And on this side is the 2 side, so we have 5, 10, 10 to 7. Thank you so much. I hope you have learned something today. Until next time, enjoy learning, and always remember, be the best you can. Bye.